uh, we're going to use something called the Kawanda effect. And the Kawanda effect. The Kawanda is, effect. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the tendency of a. Uh, Jim Kawanda. Right? No, no, no. no yeah. Not Jim, no. Uh, right. It's the tendency of a moving fluid. A obese scientist named Jim Kawanda who <laughs> yes, came up yeah. with okay. this. Yeah. Focus points. Sorry. Right. So, uh, uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's the tendency of a moving fluid to, to uh, go around a, a curved surface. It's why you can't pour cleanly out of a mug, because it's a round edge. Anyway, oh. so what we're going to do is we're going to turn on this air. We're going to hold this just about like that. And if you do it just right, you can let go of it, and it will float in air. Awesome. Once we do that, we can grab one of these uh, burners, and we can roast it. I suggest you go from the bottom up. It tends to work a little bit better. Okay. All right, so take your places. All right. Will you over there? Okay, okay. We'll put you over there. All right. All right. So let's see if we can get some of these things floating. Here comes the air. Here we go. A little bit. Slide. Clap. Wow. So pressure being lowered over the top there in the right picture, which gives an uplifting effect. You could imagine that this could be a way that UFOs, you know, like alien ships, so to speak, could work. The Kawanda effect is a convincing explanation for the lift of an aircraft wing. I like how it says convincing explanation, like you're in a simulatory matrix and you need convincing. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. So you could imagine this, you know, with gravity and magnetics as well. And those little alien metal ships that we keep seeing in videos all over the globe. <laughs> <laughs> 